So I promised to do a video update when I had a chance to run the eight OCZ Onyx Series SSDs in RAID 0. So you can see I've got these hooked up to an LSI Mega RAID FastPath SSD optimized RAID controller. And uh, what FastPath does is it actually allows SSDs to perform a little bit better. So FastPath is just the little, uh, the little key that I have on there. It also enables some advanced encryption features as well as the ability to use SSDs as a cache for a hard drive uh, RAID array. So that's a, this is a pretty cool card. This is the 9260 and it's, uh, it's actually a SAS, I did an unboxing of it, it's a SAS 6 gigabit per second card. But as you can see, it's obviously compatible with uh, SATA 2 SSDs. I shouldn't even call it SATA 2, what I mean to say is SATA 3 gigabit per second. So here, I'll show you actually, here, why don't we take this video as an opportunity to show you how easy it is to set up a RAID controller card uh, in a RAID 0 configuration. So first of all, I want to show you some benchmarks here. You can see that with this array, we were able to achieve uh, almost 700 megabytes per second read, which honestly shouldn't be that impressive. This card is capable of well over one gigabyte per second read with the right SSDs. So that I was actually a little bit disappointed in, but the write speeds are very impressive. The write scaled almost linearly on these SSDs, so we were able to achieve up to 450 megabytes per second on writes. So I'll show you what I mean by all of this in just a moment here. Um, this is kind of interesting. I wasn't having any challenges with the uh, with the RAID configuration before. Oh, you know what I think it is? Well, it looks like you get to uh, see some real-time troubleshooting here. I think we've just got the wrong IP address because I was using this at home, so uh, I have the, the system IP wrong, 192.168.3185. So let's just do that. And there we go. So let me just log in here. All right. And now we're going to go into the uh, the Mega Raid configuration. So the reason I'm a little bit disappointed with the with the overall read speeds is you can see with well you were able to see you can see with a two drive array. So this is using all of the same Raid configuration. Uh, we were able to achieve 307 megabytes per second already. Now with SSDs, typically with a good quality Raid controller like we have. And, uh, and a good quality SSD, you should see almost completely linear scaling. So while these drives are rated for uh, 125 megabytes per second reads uh, maximum, you can see with two drives, we were actually seeing that these drives perform a little bit better than spec and they're scaling extremely well because only two drives yield such strong read results. Now, these, this down here is the random uh, performance. So you can see even with uh, eight drives, to do. Uh, random performance doesn't change very much, so we've only got about 6,000 IOPS in 4K performance, which is actually still very good compared to any hard drive. I mean, you gotta sort of keep that in perspective. But uh, performance didn't really scale much from two drives all the way up to eight drives. So you can see two drives, we were seeing about 20 megabytes per second, and then up to eight drives, we see about 25. Now, with a deeper Q depth, and a bigger array, you do see more, uh, you do see better performance. And what that means is that if you're multitasking a lot on a huge array like this, you're going to see better performance and it will continue to scale versus if you're not multitasking and you're just uh, reading and writing small 4K files. Now, another thing that did scale really, really well with adding more drives was the writes. So you can see write IOPS are almost 3X when we add uh, four times as many drives, so that's still reasonably good scaling. So I just wanna show you the numbers as we go through here. So remember, this is uh, eight drives. This is the run I just did like two seconds ago. And then this one here is with two drives. So this is with four drives. So you can see from two to four did not scale nearly as well. So back to two, up to four, did not scale nearly as well in reads as from one to two because from one to two, we got almost linear scaling. But you can see that especially writes scaled incredibly well. So our sequential writes doubled, actually a little bit more than doubled, and then our 4K writes more than doubled. So very, very efficient there. And so then from four drives, I went to six drives. 
So once again, you see quite limited scaling in some areas, but again, excellent scaling on the sequential right. So that's where we're seeing just, just huge improvements. And then finally, this is an eight drive uh, run that I did before. I, I was using slightly better tweaked RAID settings. So that's probably actually the one I should be showing you more than, more than any other one. But, uh, but yeah, that's how I was able to squeeze just a little bit more sequential read out of the whole thing and uh, actually substantially better uh, 4K random writes. So anyway, that was pretty much my video. Um, I think that what we've discovered here is that using eight SSDs of uh, very, very low performance. I mean, the Onyx is a value SSD. There's, uh, there's no two ways about it. Uh, I think what we'd be better off with is using something like four to six higher performance SSDs, uh, something like a Vertex 2. I mean, Vertex 2 right out of the box is going to outperform probably anywhere from two to three of these Onyx SSDs. So what I discovered uh, running this experiment is that you're probably better off with fewer SSDs, but higher performance ones. So I'll just show you really quickly, when you have a, when you have a premium RAID card like this, how easy and how quick it is to set up a, uh, a RAID array. Um, all you really do is go into, actually, you know what? No, I can't show you this because I wanted to actually boot up to the, uh, to the SSD RAID array. So, uh, nope, I can't wipe out my array, but it's really fast. You'll have to just believe me. You click this button up here, you select the drives, you press RAID 0, and then there are actually some options that you can configure. So if I go into my virtual drive here, I believe I can go to virtual drive, and I can set all the virtual drive properties. So these are some of the things that, uh, that you can tinker around with if you do set up an SSD RAID array. So I've set things up uh, according to how LSI has recommended for the best fast path performance. Although some people do report better performance with no read ahead. Uh, and some people do uh, get better performance with write back cache enabled, as well as uh, cached IO. It really varies uh, depending on your SSD. So you have to tweak and find out what works well with your controller and your SSD. So thanks for checking out our little uh, RAID 0 performance video. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.